Steel County Blades Junior Hockey Interview with Nick Castellano out of Austin, Minnesota. So uh, just down the road. Uh, uh, now uh, I imagine you live in Owatonna. How are you, how are you liking Owatonna and being in, in the town that's kind of a rival of the Packers, of course, when it comes to the high school level? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I didn't think I'd like it at first. I mean, just because <laughs> we didn't really win against Owatonna. But, no, okay. it was, it's a good deal. It's a good town. I have a great billet family I live with. And uh, I actually live with Corey Shillow. He's from right around the area as well, okay. Cass in Minnesota. So, yeah, it's a, it's a good time. Okay. Now you've gotten to know some guys from all around the country, a couple of guys from around the world, but some Minnesota guys. What's the you know camaraderie like, getting to know each other? How does that whole thing blend together and, and, and form a team? Well, um, like you said, there is a lot of people from all over, which, you know, I get along with almost everyone. I mean, you can ask anyone. I'm not really picky when it comes to where you're from or wherever, but it's just, it's it's really fun time to get to know guys from, you know, just coming from a small town like Austin, not knowing, you know, much of the outside world and just you know getting to meet those guys from all over so it's a good time have you did you have some certain rivalries with the uh, teams that maybe some of the guys that are on your team rivalries with those teams as an austin player and now all of a sudden your teammates with any of that yeah um eric kolstrup and okay. soren kolstrup they've played here as well um you know i've played against them all throughout my high school career and just you know even in youth at the youth level okay. we've played each other and you know we've had some close battles and in youth and stuff and uh you know even in high school if we've me and Colstrip have played all together or the Colstrip brothers anyways so nick what was the path for you to come here to the blades how the opportunity come along and your interest to play junior hockey well i actually started with uh the rochester ice hawks okay. and then you know i didn't quite make the the jump to making that lineup so coach fadis over there kind of dealt me over here and talked to coach adamac here and it seemed like a good deal, so I just decided to hop over here. How does this compare to, well, I should ask, you played high school hockey then immediately before this? That's uh, the, the, the making the transition now to junior hockey? Yep, yep. I played high school last year. I'm a okay. 1995 graduate, or 2014 graduate, but born in 1995. And, uh, okay. you know, it's it's a big change of pace, even though even it's tier three level, it's it's still a big big jump in pace. And what it, what is it? What are some of the things you learn? You need to learn right away to make that transition and be a good uh, uh, contributor right out of the right out of the gate. Uh, you know, you gotta keep your head up. You gotta pass the puck quickly. Otherwise, you know, every every time you're out there, you're gonna get hit probably. So. Yeah, keep your head up. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> what things for you have changed? Have you gotten better at, more experienced at from the beginning of the season to now? Um, probably just making quicker decisions and just okay. identifying things quicker, and just you know, with that change of pace in hockey and stuff, you know, it's just you gotta make quicker decisions in everything with passing, shooting, and even even you gotta make quick changes. Uh, how do you like where the team is uh, right now as far as, what, about eight games to go as we visit right now? Not a lot of season remaining, still kind of jockeying for positions there in the division. How do you feel about where the team stands? We're sitting pretty good right now. I think we can, uh, we're sitting in fifth right now, but I think we can uh, get up there in fourth and okay. get, uh, get a home ice advantage, hopefully. So I hope we can get that home advantage. Who are the... Uh, top teams to play or comment about a couple of those top teams. Rochester, of course, very good team. The Dells Ducks are a good team. Yep. Uh, talk about the rivalry with those guys and what makes them a good team. Um, with with Rochester, they play a fast game. They, they're physical as well, and we like to match their fast pace, and at times we like to match their physicality. And with the Ducks as well, they're not necessarily a fast team, but they're a tough team to play against, and they can... Uh, they can hit you whenever they want, and you know you just got to match that match that intensity. What's well, a key or two or a, a focus for the Blades to have a good end of the season and hopefully a long playoff run? You know we just got to work together as a unit, and we just got to you know shoot the puck, and, and you know you can't score if you don't shoot. So you know just keep shooting the puck, and you know moving the puck, and just get that win as a team and as a unit. Nick, what other things do you like to do or sports that you've been involved in over time? Um, I actually played soccer at Austin High School. I'm okay. a pretty big uh, soccer fan as well. And, uh, you know, I just like to, you know, we play a little soccer before games and stuff. That's kind of fun to do, you know, show the boys a few things. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But it, it's a good time. 
it's a good time. Soccer is a big deal too for me. Okay, well, another sport that you got to be in darn good shape to play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's just uh, you know, it's it's almost the same kind of deal. Only there's probably not hitting in soccer as much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick Castellano, uh, one of the forwards at Austin, Minnesota, for the Steel County Blades. Thanks for your time and good luck with uh, the balance of the season. Yeah, thanks for having me, Roy.